guys, it's Dollar from Heaven Moon Legends Art, and it's Thursday, and we're going to do an unboxing. I received two boxes from Wellburn Gourd Farms in California. They asked me if I had ever worked on gourds, and I hadn't, and so they offered to have me test out and try some of their products, and I told them I'd be happy to. So I haven't opened the boxes yet, so I'm going to share this with you, and we're going to go over and check it out now. So. This is the smaller box. Um, I imagine this has all of the heat, the gourd accoutrements and decoration, decorating uh, material in this box. So definitely save the paper. We can always reuse it. We got. Fun with gourds. With their different products. Very professional catalog. Definitely saving that. I did do some research on YouTube to find out what all <laughs> I would be getting into and it does look really fun and there's just one more thing for us to to burn on and express ourselves so this is to finish off the gourds um, I saw in videos that the heat tool is used to dry the inks helps them to set as well as with the different things you put on a gourd. <laughs> so this will come in very handy, very versatile for a lot of things. What do we got in here? I should have cut my, my knife. Now I will be doing gourds on video um, to show you what I'm learning from it and different things you can do. Okay. Ooh. These are the stick and burns. Um, they have a sticky back that allow you to attach to the gourd and then you burn over the lines and it allows you to burn through without having mess with graphite paper, transfer paper. So they sent the Celtic design, the large animal portraits, butterfly pattern for ginger jar, birds, wow. nature scenes and birds and butterflies and see not only can you use these on the gourds but you can also use them on wood and they also have plain with no pattern on stick and burn so that you can run if you they have it for laser jet and inkjet and you can create a pattern on your computer and print it out on the the blank stick and burn and do the same thing um, and we will be giving that a try wow I didn't these are so neat I can't wait to look through them can't wait to try all this um, sponge applicators Ooh. a DVD on 
the whole gourd process from beginning to end. Can't wait to watch this. Ooh, it's a two DVD set with two hours of bonus material. Easy beginner gourd projects. And felt. That's to rub on, rub on the wax and buff that out. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is heavy. Big set. Comes with a case and everything. I will link their website down below if you see anything that you're interested in. Wow. So we have the protecting wax. The satin varnish to go with the clear. Formula 49, um, based on the videos I watched, this is to help condition your gourd and to help um, the inks to blend easier and to move easier. Same with their transparent acrylics. And it also is used to thin down either one of the mediums. Cotton rounds, and that's to help blend and apply the ink. This is a holder for these tiny, actually I think it's for these tiny little brushes. And these are tiny cotton that you can clean and reuse and this is to help get into small details and blending the color and this is the holder to extend because they are so small. Oh we got two more DVDs. I'm going to be watching a lot of DVDs. Uh, gourd vase with flower design and tips and tricks for getting the most out of your ink dyes. Wow. And then these are the 30 dies. This is their full set of dies. Um, I definitely want to check out their uh, transparent acrylic as well. And I want to see how these products work on not only gourd, gourds, but wood too. I'm really excited to try this out. Um, fade resistant, archival not light fast that's why i am interested in looking into their transparent acrylic because apparently those are light fast so i can't wait to try this all out and we're going to do it all together there's so many different colors this really opens up a whole new world of what we could do with burning And it, it is ASTM rated, which means I will have to look at this particular code. I think this means non-toxic, but I have to make I have to make sure on that. And this is wait, okay. So there's 30 colors here that also. The sand comes out. It's definitely a nice stand. Wow. In this case, I'm so excited. Okay, so now we're on to the board box. Definitely a hard box. And I believe in a video, this is their standard box that they ship out their boards. They 
based on their website, they have premium boards, they have standard boards that are craft ready. I'm sorry, this is going to be noisy. Wow! I am so excited. This is so cool. Wow. What I was told was gourds range in, in strength between pine and oak. So they all burn each differently. Wow. These are their craft ready gourds. You can buy them clean and as soon as you get them, ready to start working on. Let's see the different sizes that we got here. So this would be, um, I believe based on what I was seeing on their website and their videos, this would be a vase gourd. <laughs> With a smaller vase gourd. They do have some blemishes, so I think that this would be their standard um, gourds. Which you can still do so many things on. And um, I know that they have these that are for the whole box is at a reduced cost. I can't, I can't quote you the number right now. But because everything is standard, it's easier for them to pack up and ship. This. Is okay. This one isn't fixed on the bottom, but it is cleaned out, it is hollowed out. So I'm guessing this is still considered crack ready. Um, some of them, I guess, they don't sit uh, flat, they will um, sand them so that they sit flatter and don't move around. This one may not have the problem. See, this is considered, um, I think they. To the scar, and that's from just how it grew up on the, on the farm. But then you see this side, and you have no blemishes. Wow. I am truly excited about this. And we have some larger ones, larger. This is considered a, I think, is it a dry spot? Um, I have to get back to you on that. And as we do a project, um, because I will be recording them and showing you what I'm doing with all this wonderful stuff, um, I will have more information for you on each board. Wow. This one. Um, looks like it probably should be cleaned out a little bit more, which I don't have that set up, so I'll have to do it by hand. Um, or it just could be just fine, because I can't even get my hand in there. They do have um, these long attachments that are balls, that are cor they have a coarse and a fine that attach to the drill, so that you can easily clean out the gourds. Ooh, another wonderful one. Oh, look at that. We are going to have fun. Wow, I am so exi excited to really try this. I had never thought about it. Um, I didn't know really anything about it. And um, right now, I just have so many ideas just flooding through my brain on what we can do. Oh wow, a little more. Oh. So this is the difference between a craft ready gourd and a non craft ready gourd. Um, I'm going to have some learning to do. And you can make cups, bowls, vases, Birdhouses. This would make a great birdhouse if I could 
figure out how to do it myself. And so the whole bottom down here of the box is non craft ready boards. But that still, it still gives you options. So this one is cleaned off because they do have them where they're not even cleaned off and you have to scrub them. This, these are cleaned off. It's just I have to cut these open and clean out the out the insides. And there's a couple more in here. Wow, look at that one. That's a big gourd. Look at that. And they have them in all sizes. I saw tiny ones that you can make jewelry out of. And huge ones that were like almost the size height of this box. So really the only limit is really your imagination. They, this definitely opens up a whole new chapter within our burning and what we can learn to do with it. I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited with me. Wow guys, we got a lot of great things to play with. These are just so beautiful and I had really no idea. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out and sharing it with you and showing you what I learned and hopefully we'll learn some of this stuff together. Um, so if you anything you see here that you're interested in, um, I will have Wellburn uh, Gourd Farms link down below so you can click on it and you can, they have so, so much information on their website and you can buy directly from them. Uh, again, I'm not paid for this, but I am deeply thankful for all that I've received and this just adds one more item that we can burn on and share our art and create. So with that, please remember to like this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye!